now we're gonna look at this stuff here. So I do have a power bank in here, an anchor power bank. There, anchor. And there, this is a Solfton power bank. Also, this is to jumpstart your car, for example. I do have the GoPro Hero 10 here without a battery. What is the mistake, I think, because I do need a battery. Oh, yeah, I do have a battery. <laughs> okay, but first we want to try to run this thing without battery from the power bank. And for that, I do have here a charge cable for my uh, JBL speakers. That's what I'm going to use. Put my phone to the side. Plug this into this power bank. And then I can see here on my power meter how much power is going back and forth. And I'm going to insert this here. And then I just turn the camera on and see what happens. Turns on. And everything is beautiful. I can see on here. <laughs> Do this a little bit here. Uh, we don't want this blurry, right? We want this very clear. You see, it needs half an amp at 5 volt. And when I push play, then it needs a little over 1 amp. And it's recording with no problem. Am I recording? No, I'm not. Okay, do it again. Record here. Yeah, yeah. Now it's recording. While it's recording, it almost needs an amp. But everything is beautiful here. It works. Good. Um, that is a software version. Stop this. Um, this is a software version here. Yeah. Preferences. There is something in here it's called uh, said about about here yeah, about uh, camera info, and then you can see down here the software version 1.20. That's the version we are working on right now. And basically, you can turn it back off, so everything works fine. Um, to double check to make sure. I'm going to use another power bank I don't have really. I'm going to use. What do I have here? I thought I would have like a regular power brick. Here, yeah, something like this. This is a <coughs> uh, Apple iPhone charger. Plug this in here into power. Do you, do you have to trust me that I put it in power? Then we plug this in here. Boop. <coughs> Turn this back on. It's working, no battery. And then we start record. And we are recording here without battery. We can see this. No battery inserted. We are recording with about less than an amp power, everything is beautiful, okay? All right, turn it off. Take this to the side. So what I want to do now is I want to insert my battery here and then I'm going to update this camera. For that, I'm using my phone here on my phone and I'm going to the quick app and I hope I can connect to this uh, camera, right? So I have the Hero Session in here. Hero 10 Black. Okay. Camera is in here. I can do View Media or Control My GoPro. It says Not Found. So the reason why it's not found, let's push Cancel, is that we have in camera, we have to um, turn connections on here. Connections, wireless connection is on. And connect device. Hmm. Wireless connection on. Connect quick app. I 
here. There, this GoPro has new footage. Download, control your GoPro. Connection is successful, it says here. Yeah, it wants to join the network, that's fine. There we go. It says there is a camera update available with those news in there. Isn't that great? Let's do that now. Update. Now it has all the conditions and stuff. And it has, <coughs> there's no download button where you can download this. So you have to read it now. Read everything in detail. And when you're done reading it, you know everything what it says in there and you agree to that. Then you push accept and continue. So now it's going to transfer the files to the camera. So what it does now is um, it transfers the um, update to the camera here. Yeah. And you can see that it's blinking red. And when your update is complete, your camera screen will return to normal. Okay, let's see that. So now it's installing the update. So I'm thinking, what does it mean, install? Does it mean the camera does the update now? No. <coughs> Do not exit the GoPro Quick app or turn off your camera during this process. Okay, we won't. We wait. See, we are going to... Oh, there we go. See that? That's an indicator that the camera is updating itself. There is a, this update is on the back and then also on the front, there is nothing. Okay. So the, the back display shows an update here. Maybe if it's done in the back, that it then does the front. Let me know in the comments below if your camera acts different. See, it's off on the front, but only the back has a update progress showing and the red blink. Oh, it turns off here. It's off there. Both are off. Now it turns back on. It's blinking again. Oh, there we go. Look at this. So now it's here. It's updating the front screen. Now that one is going, and the back here is empty. See that? Well, it gives it a, a wall there, so it's updating the front. Nice. I love how smooth this all goes. It's really easy. You can see in my time up here how it uh, progresses, so it's real time. You want to see if yours acts any in any way different, then you have something to look at how it should look like or not. Just to, oh, it turns off there. Let's see what happens. Does it turn back on in the back? Yeah, it's blinking. Oh, it turned back on. Okay, now it's back on. And now let's see if uh, the app notices anything. So in theory now, the app should connect back to the camera. And then report that the update was successful. That would be neat. Now, I'm not 100% sure how long that is going to take. But it shouldn't be that long. Here, there is a check mark now. Installing up gear. All set. Look at that. Update is done. And now you can control your GoPro. Right? Okay, I don't want to control it. I'm going to turn this off, put my phone to the side, and I also turn the camera off for now. There. Um, I'm going to turn it back on. And then we check if the new firmware is installed. Okay, that's a very easy check. Slow down, slide to the side, 
preferences and there is something in uh, it's called about here about and there's camera info click on that and now we see we have version 1.30 so it updated the camera to the new version okay let's turn it off and now we do the same thing with the battery thing like we did before as you remember this one is connected still to the battery charger the iPhone charger the small one and we can see here we have 5 volts and 0 amps I'm going to plug this in here turning the camera on and let's see what happens wow look at that all of a sudden it does not have enough power so the power brick that worked before now it does not work anymore because GoPro thinks it doesn't have enough power. Plug it in here. Gone. Good. So after the update, this does not work anymore with the regular iPhone USB charger thing, right? Maybe they don't like iPhone anymore. So let's do the I have to be honest, I use this connector. I don't know if there's a difference. So this is the anchor power bank that has plenty of power. Let's plug this in. Let's turn on the camera and see if this works. Oh no, look at that, not enough power, really. So before it worked and now it doesn't anymore. It pulls half an amp. Okay, and then it shuts down. All right, so now what we did not do before is we did not use this thing. This is a, a car starter. If your car battery doesn't start anymore, this is one of those booster packs. And it does have here a 2.4 amp connector in here. Plug this in. Turn it on. Oops, here. So this one has now power. I'm going to plug this in, turn the camera on, and see what happens. Not enough power. Look at that. That also worked before, and it does not work anymore. Alright, so now I'm not 100% sure what you could do in this case. Uh, but the next thing is you could try. I have up here an anchor mm. power supply. Let's see if that works. So this is a high fast charger. <laughs> a fast charger. On. There we go. Let's turn this on. Same thing. Sorry, I was not in the picture here. So that other charger also does not work. Okay. I'm not certain that I can try. So you could say, okay, or well maybe your charge cable does not work. My USB cable here that I have a, a bad USB cable maybe. So what I need is um, a GoPro USB cable. All right. So here I do have an original GoPro thick USB cable. You can see the blue plastic insert here. So that is USB three. Let's plug this in here into the anchor. And now I go without this, right? Straight to the camera. Turn it on. And let's see how <coughs> that goes. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to turn on the power. So. Oh, <laughs> no, this thing does not work. Yeah, the anchor. Oh, there was the power button on the side, I'm sorry. So. Now we go. Okay, turn this on. Not enough power on the anchor. 
Okay. <coughs> then let's try this one here. Turn this on. That works. See this? So this super high power thing now works. Uh, we can even record with a uh, battery. So this battery thing works. Good. Now I tried this, so this does not work. I tried this. I can try my my outlet. I have a 2.4 amp outlet at my 110 at my 110 outlet that has a USB connected to it. Let's try that. That works too. Do you see it? It does work. You can record with it. Okay. And then <coughs> the last thing we try. We try this here with the Apple charger. Here, yeah. Apple charger goes to and to my 110 outlet. Here. Yeah. Does not work. Does not have enough power. Okay, it's gonna shut down. So the Apple charger is not good enough. And then let's try one more time the Anchor power bank here. And please keep in mind, this stuff worked before. You saw it was working with the previous version, right? Are we not in here? doesn't even turn on anymore. Look at that. You can see on the power bank it has three lights on. See it? It has three lights on. Yeah, so it is does have power. It doesn't even turn on anymore. Look at that. Won't turn on. And then the final thing here, there, this one. <laughs> now that doesn't turn on anymore either. So what I would think, oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry, that was my mistake. I didn't push the on button. There we go. There we are. So how much power this has or when this goes down, how long you can run the camera on this thing here? I have no idea. I would have to run the test with this. Um, this is just what it is. Um, so if you really need this to run through a power bank, I'm not too sure if this update is for you. Let me know what you have for an experience with this new software there, and I see you in my future videos.